Hello everyone and welcome. Let's model this Coca-Cola bottle. Let's have a look at the drawing here. So I get one value for the height, 188 millimeters. Then I get an image of the sketch I used for the inner shape, so to say. A thickness for the glass, 2.8 millimeters. And some sketch points, which indicate the level where I want to um, design the loft of those flutes. And one asymmetric view. I will save uh, this image to my GrabCAD profile. You can download it there, or you can screenshot this right here if you want to follow along. So I start in an empty part studio with a sketch on the front plane, where I will place that image here. As a reference, I will draw one line, one vertical line with those 188 millimeters. Make a coincident between those two here. And scale my image. Something, yeah, I'll place my origin right here on the bottom part that aligns well. And I can see my sketch points here. All right. So, um, I'll rename this here. reference and start a sketch on that very same plane with the spline on this origin here and start placing um, spline points up to that corner um, I'll give that handle here a horizontal constraint move that out a bit um, that one as well out here that's over there Okay, I'll place a fixed constraint here. Continue with that spline tool to right here. Move those handles here. Okay, continue with a, a three point arc. This, then a line here, check on tangency for this, go to the offset of those two spline splines with a 2.8 value, then a line to that endpoint, fix that endpoint, and make that tangent here. All right. And close up that bottom um, part. 
and then just place some sketch points. One is here, one over there. It's a little hard to see maybe, but. Uh, that's where I want those to be. Exit that sketch, go into the revolve. That's a solid revolve of um, that region around that axis, but just make that um, 36 revolve because there are 10 of those floats. So 360 divided by 10. All right. I'll change the appearance of that. Change the transparency. Okay. So next I will work on that loft. I need that sketch visible and I will define one variable just with O and give that value of 2.2 and then define a sketch plane with a plane point with that point and the top plane. So that is where the loft is going to start. It's a sketch on that plane and a intersection of that face with that plane. That's it for that sketch. And the next sketch will be defined by that vertex and that plane. So there's a sketch here. There's an intersection of that face and a three point arc here with the value of that O oh, two point two. You might um, use other values. And again, plane point right here with that plane. Sketch on that. Intersect that face. Uh, three point arc here. Again, just with that. 2.2 value and one more time for this so plane defined by that point and that plane and a sketch on the plane projecting or intersecting that face with that plane and three point arc here, here, here. Offset value between those two. It's not an offset, but a two point two value. And one last time, plane point right here that sketch a sketch on that one with the intersection to that plane 
Okay, we can hide all planes. And to make things easier to see, I'll hide the bottle, so to say. Go into the loft command, surface loft. Start at the bottom. Take that outer sketch arc. Continue with that one, with that one, and finish with that one. Okay, now I need to see our part again. I will start by the start profile condition and match the curvature we got right here. And the same for the end value here. And I will use um, guides and with the trim guides options option. And I'll just pick on that edge here and on that one so that forces our loft to stay. Um, on that line. Yeah, that's it. So those floats don't continue all the way through. They need to be cut around here or um, the label the Coca-Cola lettering. So I will start one sketch once more on the front line with the line here. Going upwards somehow. And the same one here with the line down here. So there is a an angle maybe thirty six. Right here. So let's make that sketch um one visible again. While it is visible, um, let's hide our part and our surface and just uh, make a coincident um, connection to um, here. And I'll just um, Draw one line um, for our next revolve. So I'll show my surface part here. And revolve, uh, surface revolve around here. Well, I make it. Uh, 44 symmetric revolve and then split that float with uh, that surface keeping the tool and do that one more time for the bottom part then we can delete that face here. So um, now we can define what we want with a mixture of uh, that solid part and those surfaces. So that'll be um, the enclose command. So I take that face, I take that face, and that one, 
and I'll keep the tools in that case because I want the solid there. And under surfaces, I can just hide that. So that is what I wanted. Okay. I'll do that one more time with that face, that one, and our solid body, keeping the tools. And again, hide those surface bodies and make a Boolean operation between those three parts. I'll hide the sketch now and make a fillet here of those edges with a 1.4 millimeter value. Those two and do that one more time for the inside with that same value. Okay. Next is a circular pattern of parts around that axis. Where was that in, let's say in sketch number seven. That one, make that 10 times, adding to what we get. There it is. I might ch change the appearance again. Some glass color with a very low transparency. And now, if I want to fill that bottle with a Coca-Cola, I take that one plane, I think it's plane number five, yeah, and use that enclose command again with that plane and um, our bottle. and give that a type of Coca-Cola appearance. All right, so if you want to model the bottle cap of that um, Coca-Cola bottle, I get a tutorial on that one as well. I'll put a link here. And uh, for the thumbnail, I used my model and exported that to visualize the rendering app uh, which comes with uh, SolidWorks. So until next time and happy designing.